Morning everyone, Alastair here and uh, another daily challenge for you. Today we are going to try and learn a times table. So what I'm talking about is learning one complete table from scratch. Well, um, it might seem like it's from scratch, but you've probably already got some knowledge that will help you. But one times table in one day just to prove um, it can be done. Now obviously times tables um, when you get around to thinking about maths hugely important because if you know your times tables it just cuts out a whole layer of um, thinking that you don't need to do when you're trying to do some more sort of involved calculations. So even in an age of calculators and computers and technology very very useful to just have those simple facts ready in your head to go whenever you should need them so the way to start with this is to think of a times table that you feel like you don't really know at all if you're just starting out with multiplication pick your two times table if you're already kind of making progress then perhaps it's your sixes, your sevens, your eights or nines. If you know all your times tables to 12 times 12 then choose something like 13 or 14 just so you can take part two. And the way we're going to do this is I totally believe um, that we can do this, we can smash out a times table from zero knowledge uh, to total mastery in one day is we are just going to hit it with all sorts of different uh, learning styles and approaches because there will be something I think that will work for everybody or perhaps it's a combination of all those things coming together so because we don't know exactly what your learning style is we're just going to throw everything at it so there is a resource that we're going to use on Twinkle to help us do this. Uh, it is this Learner Times Table Practice Worksheet. I've got it downloaded here. It doesn't um, have everything on it that I want to talk about, but it's a pretty good starting point. So you've chosen your times table. Let's say, for example, you're picking um, sevens. So the first step on the road here is you get yourself a highlighter or a colored um, pen or pencil and you are going to count through your time so you're just literally going to count uh, in sevens one two three four five six seven color one two three four five six seven color and as you color say the number probably best to do it like this so one two three four five six seven one times seven is seven one two three four five six seven two times seven is fourteen and we're just laying down those patterns the words and the numbers getting them in our heads and our thought patterns so go all the way through um, picking out every um, number that is a multiple of seven, counting on seven each time till you have um, some, some lots of these squares picked out in color. Almost certainly you will notice a pattern as you do this and that's quite interesting, that's something that can be explored at another time. You may wish to use the pattern to help you um, identify the next numbers, just talk about it and notice it because noticing patterns is a great skill to have for all sorts of maths applications. So that is um, done uh, and then we're ready to move on. So you've got your numbers highlighted here. So what you're gonna do is you're then going to um, take your numbers off. So we had seven and you're gonna write it in here, okay? And then you're gonna have 14 and you're gonna write it in this box. So what we're doing is we are increasing our familiarity with these numbers. We want to know which numbers are in our times table um, because it really narrows down the choices that we have when we're trying to figure out an answer. So write them down in here. Now at this point I have some other um, suggestions that uh, there isn't room for on this sheet because I really think 
the more familiar you can get with these numbers in your times table, um, the better. At this point, it probably makes sense to limit it to just the first 12. So you'll get up to, uh, what's, um, what's 12 times 7? Uh, 77, 84. Uh, you will get up to 84 will be your highest one on the 7 times table. So you've got them in there. Get a big piece of paper. Write them in huge writing. Colour them in. Um, get a sand tray or in a sand pit, write the numbers out in there. Um, on a separate piece of paper, write the numbers in your timetable, your times table with your left hand. Uh, but see if you can write every single number in five seconds like that with somebody timing you. Um, really try as many different ways as you can to get these numbers in your head. Um, get somebody that's supporting you with this, mum or dad or um, brother or sister, to write your numbers on little pieces of paper, your times table numbers, as well as other numbers, rogue numbers that aren't in your times table. Put them all down uh, face up on the table and you've got to sort out which ones are in your times table and which ones are not. So you're really getting familiar with these numbers. At this point, another brilliant thing to do um, when you're learning a times table is just search on YouTube for one of the catchy songs that will help to learn your particular times tables. Just search seven times table song. There'll be a bunch of choices. Have a little listen. Uh, identify one that is um, quite catchy. Listen to it a few times and you're just kind of assaulting your brain with all these different ways to remember these numbers. So once you've had a really good blitz of that on the numbers of your times table, a really good session on being familiar with them, we're now going to start to think about which one is the answer to, to which question. So what you're gonna go through and do now is here, write the numbers in these boxes so you can take this from your original grid so one lot seven is seven. Say it out loud just in case you're a, um, an auditory learner as you do it. One times seven is seven, we'll go there. We had 14 colored in, so two times seven is 14 and we're gonna go through and fill out those numbers. <coughs> do it four or five times, as many times as you can fit it in the box there. Um, repetition could be important. We don't know which your learning style is, so as we said before, we're trying to hit everything. Okay, so you've got all that familiarity with the numbers. Then we're gonna move on to just approaching this from a more sort of logical and analytical way. Uh, something about a times table is that you can construct it, you can almost build it up out of blocks of kind of existing knowledge. So what we've got here is we've got quick ways to figure out all of the answers to um, different times tables. So you can start filling this in because obviously you know that one times seven is gonna be seven. So fill that answer in there. Then you've got double your number. Okay, so you can fill that one in. And then it explains that three times would be double your number and add your number, okay, and so on. We got things like 10 times, move the digits um, one place to the, one place column to the left, or add a zero if you like in this case. And you've got all these different hacks that help you quickly um, construct your times table. So uh, once you've had a good go at all of that, then we get to the situation where we can put it to the test. Now I always think if you um, can't get the answer to a times table question in five seconds, it's not quite there yet. Fair enough, you might be able to work it out, but what we're looking for is just looking for that instant recall that doesn't require any thought. So the test at the end of this, when you think you're ready, and of course you can try it at any point throughout the day, is can you score 10 questions on your times table mixed up, okay? 
so it might be 3 times 7, it might jump to 8 times 7. Um, if the person testing you um, wants to really be sure that you've learned this, then you can also um, turn around. So instead of asking 3 times 7, you can ask 7 times 3. Obviously the answer is the same, and it's just deepening your understanding of that times table. But you can prove you've done it if you can answer 10 questions less than five seconds bosh you have learned a times table in one day and if you can learn one in one day then you can learn all of them by the end of next week so uh, have a good bash at this and let us know how you get on um, share as always in our Facebook group if you can we'd love to see videos of uh, people blitzing a times table uh, particularly where it's one that they didn't know at the beginning of the day um, and you know like like we said when you've done one you can do another so enjoy this challenge uh, take care and see you again soon for another one bye